Welcome to Wales Today, our top stories. Steve Evans had his disability benefits stopped and had to appeal to get them back. New figures show last year in Wales, three quarters of those who had their main benefits stopped or reduced won their appeal. The Department of Work and Pension says the new system is fairer than the old one. Good evening. BBC Wales has found that three quarters of disabled people here who challenged a decision to remove or reduce their main benefit last year were successful. Charities have told us the figures are alarming and show reforms to disability benefits are not working. But the Department for Work and Pension says the new system of personal independence payments is fairer and fresh evidence can be given at appeals. Paul Heaney has this exclusive report. Steve Evans is from Newport. Last year, a friend helped him fill out a form for a new type of benefit. He has cerebral palsy and has always been entitled to high levels of welfare payments. So he thought no more about the application for personal independence payment, given his long welfare history. That is, until he went to the bank a few months later. <laughs> He was sent three letters about an appointment as part of that process, but he can't open them, so he missed it. I didn't rip it. Benefits were stopped, he had zero income, and thousands of pounds of debt mounted up. Steve had to take his case to a tribunal to go back on the benefit he was on before, and he won. He's one of millions of people to move on to new benefits. Employment and Support Allowance, or ESA, is worth up to £73 a week for people who can't work or need support to work. Personal Independence Payment, or PIP, up to £139 a week for daily living and getting around. 39% of people are better off under these new benefits. 46% have payments reduced or removed. New benefits mean new assessments, and they have been controversial. MPs say there's a pervasive lack of trust among disabled people over how their welfare claims are assessed. Now, all this is important because millions of people with both physical and mental health disabilities rely on these benefits to work or to be more independent. If that support's taken away, they can appeal, and the success rate is increasing each year. 67% of appeals upheld in 2017, and for the main disability benefit, personal independence payment, 75% of people who challenged decisions were successful in Wales, yet just 54% in the northeast of England. The DWP couldn't explain why there's such a big regional difference, but did say people can give further evidence at an appeal. My concern is for the people who don't appeal because they are too worn out um, or they haven't got the help to, ena to enable them to appeal. And I just wonder how many people are out there that are not on the right benefits because of that process. I think that's very alarming. The medical assessments have to be more accurate. The DWP says the new system is fairer because it looks at individual circumstances, the extra cost of a disability, not just a medical diagnosis. It says under the old benefits system, some people hadn't been assessed for years. Steve has now been paid the thousands he was entitled to, but he's also concerned that thousands of others are having to rely on appeals to get what they're due. We could end up with people.
Steve Evans ending that report. Well, we asked the Department for Work and Pensions for an interview about this story. They declined, as did the Secretary of State for Wales. The Prime Minister also turned down our request.